start of COVID, we started, obviously, uh, we both work in theatre and that, it, it <laughs> stopped everything <laughs> for us. <laughs> like, but we, we had a little bit of a break, which is something we don't often get in our industry. And we allowed, like, we were, we were pretty well provided for. I was put on furlough, you were actually put on furlough and got yeah, some Yeah, really surprisingly, money. I was furloughed. Because um, I'm self-employed, so I wasn't, I shouldn't have qualified for furlough and I shouldn't have qualified for self-employment help because I'm not enough of each. But actually, you know, God doesn't leave us without. So I qualified for both. And so we, we, we had a, a, a little rest for a bit and we allowed the others in our industry to, uh, we helped them out and we let them like, yeah, go for some of the other jobs that necessarily we didn't need. Um, but at one point it turned out that they needed more people in certain sectors. So we went were the COVID cleaning team at the Tesco Depot in Mega for a bit. <laughs> and we got to see a lot of uh, a lot of the freelancers there, talk to them quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think surprisingly working there, I mean, it was fairly soul destroying, wasn't it? It wasn't a fun job. But, well, let's be honest, it's not fun. We just white vending machines all day but I had the opportunity to pray with people who had never accepted Jesus and maybe would never really hear about him and by the end of the sort of two months we were there some of the blokes that had started with us were coming to me and asking for prayer and that was just such a nice like God puts us in places to work his kingdom out and for us to be able to see that he works in every dimension. He doesn't just work in our one specific job with the seven people we work with. He works everywhere, all the time. We started off reading... Job? We read Job to start yeah. with because we were cross that we'd lost everything. All our work went, so I was like, guess what that's like? It's like Job. We read Job because you hadn't read it, had you? No, no, no. And we got to the end and it was like, God restores everything to Job. And more. And more. And a bit more as well. And we were like, well, that's our... We're going to take that. Yeah. We're going to take that and we're going to put our faith into action. Come July, uh, we got engaged. Yes. And then... <laughs> um, come August, we got a mass amount of work through to see you more than... What, six months through your business, self-employment? Oh, yeah, the one we just did. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and we just got a last minute job. Having taken sort of nearly four months of like minimum wage, menial work, it was not good. Uh, we got sort of two or three weeks in television on a TV series. Those three weeks are nearly half a year's wage for me. TV money is really good, I get into TV. And that was, yeah, that was a last minute phone call. We need two people here tomorrow who preferably are a couple so that they can work together. We, we fit <laughs> the bill on every aspect of that. Yeah, God's so faithful. After that we read... Joshua. Joshua about the lots of land given to everyone and about two weeks after that we put in for um, a house we put an offer on a house got that accepted mortgage is now accepted we're looking about three weeks till we get the keys praise god yeah just standing on his word when it doesn't seem like the best idea when it doesn't seem like in the natural it would work out like that. Like this year was 2020 year of plenty. Um, having felt like I anyway lost a lot going into sort of COVID and lockdown and stuff. We will come out of this with a house, having planned a wedding and you know, easily a year's wage despite not working a lot. Yeah. I think God's just so faithful. Yeah, yeah. we're really grateful. <laughs> yeah, we've prayed every day. We've never turned back 
on him, never. We've always had something good to everyone who's asked us. We've always had something good to say. And there hasn't been one instance where it's been, now well, that didn't go quite right. Everything's gone to a plan and everything's come out great for us. Every setback we had, every time, in the natural we lost a job or I didn't find work for weeks or, you know, we were ready to buy in March and then everything crashed and we didn't know if we were going to earn anything, we didn't know if we were going to be able to move, we just... And it's something, yeah, something my housemate Leah said was that this will become your testimony. And we could have worked all year and bought a house, but that's not how God works, you know? The supernatural says that even without jobs, even without what we would normally call stability, we will still have every promise that he's ever made to us. It's great.